cameras are getting better day after day. But the fact remains the way you shoot videos will continue to differ. So what happens if you mount your camera on a pair of rails and a few ball bearings? Well, you get the Pro Aim slider. This is built for cameras or mobiles and does a great job. Just look at some of the clips I've captured. I hope you like some of these clips. They were not perfect, but this is what you could probably do with a two feet slider from ProAim. This one's called the Zeal. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. I bought this on Amazon uh, got it at a discounted rate, just under about 4,000 rupees. It comes in a nice Amazon packaging. I like the bag they supply with the kit. This one, again, uh, has a branding Pro M on it. Uh, honestly, really good bag for this device, and it's uh, got this beautiful combination of red and black. Inside you have the slider, which is again secured with some velcro straps. And as you can see, everything is wrapped nicely in plastic. There's a the slider, feels really heavy. And inside you also have some additional accessories like extra pair of gears, some tools. Yeah. Let's quickly get this plastic off. Now this slider feels really heavy. It is really heavy. And it's a piece of solid metal and has this nice movable slider right in the middle. Again, wrapped in plastic. So let's get that off. And this thing looks beautiful. So this central section, which has the mounter, has pre-drilled 1 4th and 3 4th thread screw holes. So there's the slider, looks beautiful. So this central section has the movable unit in the middle and it's ultra smooth. It comes with a pre-fitted 1 4th screw, which is again protected by a piece of plastic. Really nice gesture, shows quality. And on this, you can mount your cameras directly or you can use other clamps to raise the height and mount a camera on top of that. So on the slider, there are pre-drilled uh, 1 4th and 3 4th thread screws so that you can mount this on a tripod. And at the end, you have these nice fasteners which hold the legs together. There's also a small knob in the middle which uh, slows down the movement of the slider. So at the rear, you can see the legs are mounted on a gear mechanism. So they work in tandem. So once you pull one of them, the gear actually automatically moves the other leg. It's really nice attention to detail. Please remember that the gears are plastic, so do not exert force. You will end up breaking some of the teeth the gear has. So the knob tightens the movement. Also remember, these are height adjustable. So you have two additional knobs at the bottom of the leg to increase or decrease the height, making sure that this balances firmly wherever it's kept.
let's check the bag for any other accessories and yes there is a small plastic which has an additional belt it's a shoulder belt for this whole bag other than that there seems to be nothing inside impressive So mounting this on a tripod is pretty simple. All you need to do is take the quick release plate and fasten it at the bottom of the slider. Like I mentioned, uh, these have pre-drilled screws which can hold most of the quick release plates from your, from your tripod. And they've also given accessories in case you have the wrong size and you know in case you want to mount it at a different place there are additional accessories given on the cover like the one you see here i've added that in the middle it uh, kind of helps you once you've mounted the camera glides smoothly you can also try using your mobile devices in case you have a mobile holder and this one again fits easily as well So again, just showing you the pre-drilled holes at the bottom. So it can take a variety of tripods. So again, I'm using a very basic tripod. It's an aluminum tripod. Not very strong uh, and remember that if you have I'm sorry if you have a weak tripod uh, there is ch a chance that the whole thing can actually bend over on one side so if you have something firm uh, you'll easily be able to use the tilt function on your tripod and just watch out for that central section because that central portion is really heavy make sure it's locked in the middle otherwise it's going to move and hit something on the table and damage something like your camera. So make sure that you always secure that lock. But this thing slides beautifully. Now sliding itself is an art, right? It's not easy doing this on a manual slider like this one. Maintaining a constant glide isn't easy. Uh, remember that it could take some time in practice, but once you get the hang of it, you really enjoy the clips you get. Also remember that the adjusting knob on the slider lets you slow this movement so that you have more control over the shots. All in all, you get a really good quality slider at this price. This is an entry level slider with uh, a length of about two feet, but you can still do magic with it. Uh, a professional videographer can take clips to the next level. So these sliders are available in different sizes, three feet, four feet, six feet, and anything bigger than three feet would definitely need supports at the corners or additional tripods on both sides to support the weight. A small slider like this one fits perfectly and does the jobs that I need it for. In case you're using a mobile camera, just add this additional clamp like this one. And again, you can make good use of the sliders capabilities. Do remember, focus plays a key role in getting some good video clips. In this particular clip, you can see that the glass is in focus and the object next to the camera is out of focus. So you can try out different combinations and you'll end up getting a beautiful clip. So that's my review of the Pro-M Zeal slider. It's available on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description below. Do let me know if you have any questions or queries. 
Once again, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it and please share it with your friends. And I'd like to thank you for watching our take again and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.